Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is your reading for January 2024. It's a general reading, so take as it resonates and it's a rest. I do offer personal reading, Pisces, if you're interested. Check the description box below. Let's see your first card. It's a transformation coming for you next month. Time for you to fly, to take your risk, to try to do something different from your past. Okay, you're ready. For some of you, are going to learn new skills like a student. We have also the purification card, the best card in this deck. It's about healing. The sunflowers represent happiness coming for you. Love and joy here. It's going to be a very good month, Pisces. Can see the sun is showing up again. For some of you, there is a significant Leo around you. Okay? The sun needs a new light, hope coming for you. With the Nine of Cups, it's a gift from the universe, an accomplishment, a wish come true. Let's see. What do you need to focus next month? Pisces. Okay. Nine of Cups is showing up, definitely. And with the Tower, interesting. You know the Tower, it's also a transformation card. You're going to rebuild something more stable with better foundation. You can see there is butterfly here. Can be also a transformation about your finances, okay? What you don't see coming, everything is going to change very quickly. Let's see a message for you, Pisces. Like you've been feeling stuck for a long time, Frustrated. It's important for you to be careful of your finances next month, okay? Be a little bit more patient. You can see a very positive outcome coming for you, Pisces. The sun represents also abundance, okay? Challenges and achievement. You're not giving up. It's a mountain card. Let's see. It's like no one can stop you. You have your power back, Pisces. You can achieve your dreams. Let's see your animal spirits next month. Okay, we have the parrots. So there is a lot of gossip and jealousy around you. Okay, focus on the positive to attract positive things. No advice for you. Your energy is showing up a full moon in Pisces. It's you in control. You know exactly what you really want. Important for you to forgive yourself first, okay? Let go of your past, just go with the flow, Pisces. Your challenge next month. With the full moon, definitely it's an accomplishment coming for you, okay? We have a fight to conflict between you and someone. With this card, the best you can do is to collaborate to find a solution. I see you having an important conversation okay maybe it's talking about some legal matters a divorce a marriage a contract here yeah. let's see three cards about relationship your love life friendship and partnership here yeah. let's see You are so beautiful and attractive, bold, assertive, confident. Your energy is beautiful, Pisces. Wow. Queen of Wands. The sun again. Mm. The sun is Leo energy. Time for you to be happy again. You've been through a lot, but it's like after making a sacrifice in your life. 
love is coming. Okay, open your heart again. This connection is going to bring balance in your life. Equal give and take in relationship. Be open to receive. It's also important for you to be generous. It's not someone from your past. It's a new connection. Maybe with someone a little bit younger of you. It's like your first start. You're feeling very excited about this connection. Prices. With the Queen of Wands, we have Temperance. Sagittarius energy. Just for some of you, can be taking about a reconciliation. Okay? It's about transforming all negativity in positivity. And it's a lot of alchemy between you two. It's like this connection is magic. With the sun, we have the moon. The moon is cancer by this energy. It's important for you to face in your fear. Okay? If you're feeling confused or insecure about this connection, it's just on your mind. It's an illusion. So there is an opportunity just for some of you to get pregnant with the moon card showing up. Okay? Because it represents cycles and fertility. With the six of pentacles. We have the two of wands. It's you making an important decision about the future here. You can be talking about a long distance relationship or you're not living at the same place. This person is living like at the distance, okay? Maybe overseas or a different states, city or country. You can trust this person. The dog represents loyalty, long-term partnership, fidelity. Feeling very confused about this connection. It's because you're very different from this person also. We have the moon and the sun together here. You're feeling confused because I feel like in the past, someone betrayed you, was lying, cheating, stealing, maybe your ex-husband, okay? Because we have the ring here. It's about a marriage. Feeling very confused. Because it was a commitment in your life, and now it's difficult for you to trust someone new. Biases, but definitely there is an opportunity here, okay? And with the sun, it's a best card in the tarot deck, okay? Just you need to be helpful. Let's see what's going on about your money, your career, and your finances. I see You can see you need to be careful of your money next month. Okay, you can see success, victory, it's you traveling a lot because of your job. Focus on what you really want and go for it. Let's see what this is. What's your finances? Everything will be okay. We have the nine of pentacles showing up. It's you creating your own abundance on your own. You're single, beautiful, you don't need anyone. It's a lot of abundance coming for you. With the ace of thought, it's success, clarity, victory. If you're looking for a job, definitely there is a positive outcome here. A decision is showing up. And I see you working in collaboration with others. Something creative. It's like you need help, support. I see yes. Let's see, with the Nine of Pentacles. What's going on for you? With the Nine of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Swords. Important for you to free yourself from a situation because you're feeling stuck, okay? It's you spending a lot of time on your own. You're very independent. Time for you to realize your dream here. Confirmation with a star card. Okay. 
something you've been wishing for it's happening next month for you Pisces can be talking about being famous success here yeah. this is sun again so there is a sun everywhere here in your reading sun is in your light hope it's the best card in the normal deck Some of you are going to choose a new direction in your career. Unless you're making an important decision, you have two different options and paths here. End of a cycle, a transformation with a coughing card. Okay, it's like you're not the same. It's you learning from your past. You don't want to repeat the same mistakes again and again. You're choosing something new. To realize your dream, doing what you really want about your career, okay? It's like the end of a cycle here. Let's see. An advice for you, Pisces. The Queen of Wands is showing up again. Someone is taking action towards your Pisces. Wow, the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups represents love, joy, and happiness coming for you and for your family. So you're spending time with your children, your family, your community next month. You're feeling good and confident. The world card, accomplishment, success, and victory here. For some of you about relationships, you're dealing with a fixed eye. An Aquarius, a Taurus, a Leo, or a Scorpio. Okay. Pisces, this is your reading. Thank you so much for watching, being here. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Take care. Bye.